If you're anything like me, you logged in to Star Citizen Patch 315 all excited to try the new features, and then remembered that the patch was accompanied by a wipe, resetting all of your progress and unlocked ships. In this video we'll explore some of the different ways you have to start building up your fortune again as quickly as possible, so that you can go back to being a starship collector again. I'm Farrister and my channel is all about giving you useful or interesting content around simulation type games, including Star Citizen. For this video I've included timestamps in the video description to explore the quickest methods for building your fortune. And if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing, that helps you to be notified of future Star Citizen videos, such as ship reviews or location spotlights, and helps me to grow the audience. So it's probably important to point out before getting too in-depth, there are lots of ways to make money in Star Citizen, and often the best way is not necessarily the one that makes the most money per hour, but probably the one you enjoy doing the most. So whilst I'll not be covering box delivery contracts or first person combat for this video, if you enjoy them, have at it. So for many players, the mainstay of earning money in 315 will still be ship combat contracts with the Bounty Hunter Guild. Particularly when you get to very high risk or extreme high risk contracts as your reputation builds, this is one of the highest Alpha UEC per hour methods of earning money. If you're looking to build your fortune as quickly as possible, even if it's just to open up some of the other methods of making money, Combat contracts are a good starting point. Moreover, the ramping difficulty means it's fairly accessible, no matter what ships you have available to you as pledge. Your goal should be to reach a good combat tier for your ship type, my suggestion would be medium risk targets for most ships. You can do this by completing contracts of whatever tier you have unlocked, to build your reputation with the Bounty Hunter Guild. Once your reputation levels up, a contract becomes available which is your certification to hunt targets at the next difficulty level, for a greater reward. The advantage of combat contracts are that you don't need a lot of starting capital in order to get started, and all you're really risking is your character life and a ship insurance timer. It's also one of the most profitable options out there, once you get to the higher tiers. The disadvantage is simply the saturation of players seeking to complete these missions. If all 50 people on the server are flying around in the same place as you, hoovering up the missions as they come up, it can sometimes limit the choice you have available. But let's say you're not big into combat, and much prefer to earn your living peacefully. Well, mining might be a good option for you. There are a couple of barriers to entry here. First, you need a mining capable vehicle. If you don't have one as part of your pledge package, your options are to rent a prospector for at least 51,000 Alpha UEC, or a rock for just over 4,000 Alpha UEC. Both can be rented from a refinery station. If you rent a rock, you'll need a ship capable of carrying it, such as a Mercury Star Runner or Cutlass Black. Once again, if you don't have one, you'll need to rent one, which is an initial outlay. There are plenty of mining guides out there, including one on my channel, so I'll not go too much into the detail. But suffice to say, whether you're refining your ore, or selling it directly, a full cargo hold worth of ore can be a nice boost to your finances, especially in the early hours after a patch. The advantage of making money through mining is that you're often not as directly competing with other players. You can usually find somewhere quiet to go and mine undisturbed, especially if you stay off the beaten path, and therefore you're not worrying about somebody else taking all of the contracts for example. The disadvantage is just the barrier to entry, requiring the right hardware. That said, having mining ships is often a good way to make money in a more relaxed fashion, and a permanent in-game purchase of the rock for 172,000 Alpha UEC, or prospect for 2 million Alpha UEC, might be a sensible investment. For many players, one of the appealing features of Patch 315 
is the crash protection that you're offered, which is of huge benefit to cargo haulers. It means that if the server crashes or you're otherwise disconnected, you're much more likely to have your cargo undisturbed by it, which makes the whole experience of cargo running not just less frustrating, but also more profitable again. And when you get to running full cargo holds, especially on the larger cargo ships, you can make substantial sums of money once again through trading cargo. However, cargo hauling still relies on having a considerable sum of money available to sink in to your cargo. That means you'll either need to start very small, or you'll need to make your initial capital investment of Alpha UEC through one of the other methods. You're also still at risk running cargo on your ship, not so much from 30Ks anymore, but from other players. And with many of the less savoury players running around, regardless of whether you see it as piracy or griefing, there is still a risk to cargo running. That said, the money to be made trading cargo is considerable, and in terms of potential earnings per hour, it's right up there with the top tier combat contracts as a compelling option for a player with the right ship and the initial cash to splash. I look forward to reading in the comments if you think I missed anything, or most especially if you have any top tips for building that cash up quickly. Hopefully you found this little recap of the most profitable options helpful. If so, please press that like button as it helps me to know what sort of thing you're finding most useful. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed and as ever, thank you for watching.